service requests from chaos to come. Like, the core challenge that data teams have is we deal with service requests all the time. Let's take analyst service requests. What does this metric mean? How is it different from metric Y? I want to see metric X by geography instead of segment. Can someone confirm if this is the right way to join these tables? Um, one of our customers leading mobile esports platform, they have like 90 million users. Their analyst team, 80 member analyst team, they figured that they were spending 40% of their bandwidth addressing like ad hoc data requests. That's like half the team basically spending all their time answering questions like this. The core thing that metadata can help you do here is actually go from service requests to product. Uh, so as you start thinking about each of these service requests, how do you make these service requests reusable and reproducible? Um, so this team, they basically started thinking about each of these requests as internal, reusable, reproducible products for their organization. First, their data assets itself. Uh, how do you make that reusable? You know, what does the column name mean? Is this updated? Like, you know, we have these like asset profiles. Like, think of like a GitHub code repo, right? When you onboard an engineer, just share a link to a GitHub repo. It has your code, your documentation, your revisions, everything in that same space. How do you do the same thing for your data? The same thing with metrics, right? Each of your metrics, if you think about it, and we're recurring revenue, how do we define customers? Each of these can be reusable, reproducible assets for the rest of your organization. Um, and the third uh, is, is their queries itself. Every analyst I've spoken to at some level has this like notepad file uh, on their desktop, and it basically has these SQL snippets in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Um, and so that could be reusable and reproducible. So basically, those just turned into links that now can be shared with other folks inside the org, um, which in this case, they actually, just by doing these three things, 43% analyst time was saved. So basically, they have doubled the team to execute on their projects next year without hiring one extra person.